Welcome to the bonus video. I need to give you a warning. There's going to be some pretty intense math ahead. Well, not intense, but unusually intense math for physics at AS level. So previously, I mentioned two facts about maximum power. If you have a resistor in a circuit where you can change the resistance like this, oh my goodness, like a potential meter, okay, you can change your resistance. That's why I got the arrow there. Okay. And if you can do that, you will notice a very strange pattern. You will achieve maximum power dissipated by this resistor. Come out. When, the, when your R value here is the same as your R value inside the battery, the internal resistance. So when your circuit R equals to internal R, then you will have maximum power. And that's what the graph roughly looks like this increase to a maximum and then it will decrease some more when you change the R up and down. But why is that? Let's go through this step by step. First things first, you want to find the power dissipated by the resistor or the load, the circuit resistance, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we need to think of the general formula. Okay, so general formula for power, you have P equals to IV right? But we don't really want to know about V. I want to know about the current and the resistance, right? Because I'm changing resistance. So I'm going to substitute this in. I'm going to use P equals to I square R. I sub in V equals to I R. La. This is how to show I sub in. Okay. This one, I am going to call equation one. The general equation to start off with, law. Then, we need another equation. Um, how does, is there another way to find R to plug in? I, uh, R, not R. I in terms of other stuff, the current. So I'm going to find equation for I. Let us use the one we know very well. I'm going to use green this time. So V, uh, across this, uh, sorry, the potential difference across this, this resistor is going to be IR plus IR. Okay, uh, let me just regroup this thing. So I equals to R plus R. And then I will be V over R plus R. Getting a little crowded. I'm going to call this equation Two. And this is how I'm going to use, I'm going to calculate the uh, current flowing through that, that variable resistor up here based on the fellow's resistance, the internal resistance, and then the battery EMF. Oh, I should use E. Sorry about that. I should use E instead of V. But anyway, I'll keep that here for now. So we have one and two equations. Let's sub them together. So now... Let's sub, oops, kind of jammed a little bit. There, I unjammed it, I think. Sub uh, equation two, did I write three? Two into one. Let's just redo this. Two into one, there we go. So plug two into the general equation. So I have P equals two. The whole I square, how do we calculate I? With V over R plus R. Close bracket. Square R. Okay. Now what? Hang on a bit. Let me, it's kind of crowded here. So what I'm good is I'm going to expand all the bracket out. So <laughs> let's do this. P equals to V square R. If I expand the down there one, it will be uh, R square plus 2 RR plus R square. There's a bracket down there that I just expanded long. Okay, square the top, square the bottom. So I get something like this. Wow, well, look very long. Eh? Okay, I'm going to simplify it one more time. I'm going to divide the top and the bottom of this fraction by R. So then P equals 2. V square only on top because now the R is changing, ma. And 
R divided by R, very nice, just R, plus 2 small r, because the big r is divided already, ma. then here is r squared divided by r. So I'm going to write here a note, divide by r, the top and the bottom, numerator and denominator. So what I'm having here is what we call the power function. Because, okay, so the, another way you can write this thing, right? Strictly speaking, if you want to do maths, power that changes with the resistance. Because now it's variable resistance. So this is how you write function law, P bracket R. So R is all changing here and that will affect the P. So where is P the maximum? Question mark. Oh, maximum. You kind of have to do what we call differentiation to find the maximum point. But I'm not going to do the whole thing. It's a bit long and troublesome. I'm going to use a slight shortcut. Okay, for the P to be maximum, this bottom part has to be minimum. The denominator. Okay, so wherever P is maximum means the denominator must be minimum. Okay, keep that in mind. Huh? Denominator must be minimum. So that leads to the second part of this maths exercise. So for P to be max, your denominator must be minimum. So denominator was what again just now? Um, I'm going to write it out. R plus 2R plus R squared over R is minimum. And how do you do that? Now that's, now it's less fraction. La, so easier to differentiate. If not late, just now you look, uh, got R, so many R down there. Very, very mafan, very tiring to differentiate so many things. So this is a shortcut. Now we only need to find where this thing is minimum. So I'm going to differentiate this. Oops, D by DX. That's how I write it out. And then, eh, why I keep clicking this, nothing changed. R plus 2R plus r square over r not d by dx sorry d by dr now you change color ah lama what is this <laughs> d by dr there we go there you go now in the correct color so the purpose why i just did the d by dr is because i want to find the minimum point for this thing what is the r value when it's minimum so when it's a minimum or maximum this will be a zero. So to differentiate this part, it should equal to zero. Okay, at a max or min point now. So at max or min. Okay, we want it to be minimum. So how do you differentiate this thing? Um, differentiate r, you get one. Differentiate two r, this whole thing becomes zero. Differentiate r over r square over r, you get negative r square over r square equals to zero and that can simplify down to one equals to r square over r which means hmm r equals to r so when this is true then your this bit of the power equation is minimum but how do we know is it max or min we need to test it so, for extra, just to check if this is max, minimum, we want to make sure it's minimum, uh, you have to differentiate again. So, we check, check if function is, uh, this is a max or a minimum point. PT is point, uh. so how to check? You differentiate again, lo. so you differentiate your, your this 1 minus R squared over R. So, okay, differentiate 1 minus r square over r differentiate again now this is what we call the second de second derivative hmm differentiate this, what do you get differentiate one becomes zero okay differentiate this negative r square over r square you will get i kind of shortcut a bit but you're gonna get two r square over r cube you have to move up and down the power change around a bit and this thing, how do you know if it's maximum or minimum? 
Well, the first thing is there are no negative signs. So you can conclude because this bit, this thing is more than zero, positive law. Therefore, it is a minimum. So this denominator is a minimum when r equals r, which means, therefore, your final, final conclusion, this one, therefore, p is maximum at r equals to r. Okay, and this p max is the function pr. pr is maximum at r equals r. And if you go and plot in a plotting a website like Desmos or GeoGebra, you go and plot this thing, this whole thing out. Oops, what is going on here? Plot this thing out. You will get the function that we have been looking at earlier. Okay, plot ready. You will see it looks something like this. P against R. Plug all this thing in. Uh, 1 over R plus R, 2R plus R squared over R. It will look like this. And this maximum point is what we just found up here where R equals to R. And this is maximum power. P max. Okay, so this is the whole backstory of where those two facts come from. Do you need to know it or memorize it? No. This is a lot of maths. Yes, I agree. But all you need to know is the facts here and how the graph will look like. There's another question in the description from the previous video. I also put them down here so you can take a look. But yeah, those two facts are all you need to know. And this is the whole backstory where they came from. Okay, so yeah, that's all for this bonus video on maximum power. Just remember how the graph looks like and when is R maximum, uh, when is the power maximum? That's when R equals to R. External resistors, uh, resistance equals to internal resistance. That's it. All right, that's all for this bonus video. I'll see you in the next one.